What's up, people? Uh, got a small video here for you about uh, throttle bodies. Thought you guys might want to see this. Got a little uh, cheap horsepower, not horsepower, but cheap little trick here for a V6 3.8 Mustang. Just got done putting my header back on the side. Um, it was rubbing in two places, so I got that done. Want to make a video about throttle body. So on a 3.8 liter V6 throttle body, okay? You can go and spend 300 bucks on one for American Muscle, um, you know, for the Performance Plus one or whatever. Um, this here is your stock throttle body. Um, sits in there like this. Okay. Um, it sits in there like that, basically. It's very, very small. You buy the upgraded one. It's like a 65 millimeter or something like that. And uh, they charge you a fortune for it. It ain't going to do much for your car. Unless you got a high horsepower car, like a little bit bigger throttle body is not going to really do much. But if you really want to get one, get yourself a Mustang GT two-valve throttle body. This is one I have laying around. This will fit. So if you look at them, okay, the throttle position sensors, exact same. Bolt right up. Okay. The bolt holes line up fine, okay? So this here, I'm gonna take the gasket off just because I don't wanna wreck this. Um, okay, so your stock V6 throttle body, okay? Bolts on, perfect, right? No problem at all. Okay, this one is off a two valve Mustang. Bolts up perfectly as well. Okay. Throttle position sensor is the exact same. Bolts right on there. Bolted on there. The only difference is your cruise control wire or cruise control um, cable will hook up just fine. Okay. That goes to here. This is your throttle cable. All you have to do is buy a Mustang GT throttle cable. So for a two valve Mustang, you buy the throttle cable because that's got that piece that goes into there it hooks in there and then you just got to get um, a spring for that to hold onto there somewhere but the thing is you can get these dirt cheap like I've got a whole bunch of these because I've got a whole bunch of Mustangs and nobody wants to buy the stock throttle body for the GT but if you look at the size difference of these two holes give you a comparison I literally can almost fit. That almost fits inside of there, okay? Um, this is a little bit bigger. The GT one's a little bit bigger. And because of that, see, I think you can see it better there. It's a little bit bigger. And because of that, you're gonna get a little more airflow. So it's not gonna be too much that your car runs poorly but it's gonna be the exact same as if you went and bought one of these from American Muscle or something like that and put on your car. So, just a little kind of tip for you there, a little trick that uh, you can do to, if, if you're dead set in buying a throttle body, I would just say do that because it's gonna save you a ton of money. You're not gonna see giant gains anyway from it, but just to show you guys that uh, it will all bolt up fine. Like I said, minus the cables. Shit. Hard to do one handed here. There we go. Damn it. It's very hard to do one handed, but all the bolt holes do line up just fine. Um, and your cold air intake will bolt right onto this too with that coupler. But it's a nice little mod that's that's literally very, very inexpensive. I mean, I just, this car is kind of a bolt-on car. It's got 410 gears, 8.8 .8 limited slip. Um, it's got the Bama Race tune on it, the 93 octane tune, a cold air intake, long tube headers, off-road X-pipe, cat-back exhaust, okay? So I was like, well, it'd be nice to do it. You want to make sure you drop your bolts, too. That's, that's great. Um, oh, bear with me. 
with me here. Yeah, let's see. Long tube headers on there. Oh, man. But uh, I want to do a throttle body on here because I figured, well, heck, you know, I've got a whole bunch of stuff done to this car already anyway. Be a nice little supporting mod. Um, you know, it really isn't going to do a whole lot, but um, I figured, you know, at least to have it on here would be nice. A little bit extra whatever from it. Um, but I, I just didn't want to spend $300 or $258, whatever they charge you on the websites and whatnot. Um, so I was like, well, I'm going to try this once and see what this will do. And I grabbed it out of there. My parts bin. And uh, it all lined up just fine. So I was like, all right. That's awesome. So if you go to your local junkyard or something like that, or even on Marketplace, people sell these things dirt cheap on Marketplace because, like I say, nobody wants these for their three or for their four sixes. They all buy, you know, AccuFab or something like that. Um, and what have you, but uh, not me. I uh, I like to save where I can save. And three hundred dollars for a basically a do nothing throttle body to me just seems stupid. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad part. I mean, the BDK Power Plus throttle body is probably a really good piece. I just don't see the point in spending that kind of money on it when you could just do this basically for next to nothing. I mean, I got tons of these throttle bodies. Jeez, this one doesn't even hardly at all. All right, so. It's all in there, and to show I'm not bullshitting you, see, that one will fit on there nice, this one you got to modify, nothing hits over here at all, literally opens up all the way, okay, and your throttle position sensor, okay, all you got to do is take that bad boy, hand in there and then uh, plug it in. You see what I'm saying? So now you got a two valve GT throttle body under your car and it all fits just fine. Um, like I said, all you got to replace is the uh, throttle cable um, and get the GT one and then I mean this has zero does not hit anything. Opens up so that's all you got to do. And then uh, the colder intake will bolt right to it and uh, you'll be good to go. So a little tip there for you, anybody want to upgrade the throttle body, just grab one off a two valve GT. Um, I'm not sure what year this one was off of. I got it for free with a whole bunch of other stuff I got. Um, you know, but I mean, shoot, measure it, see what you want to do and get what you can get. So appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you later.